Shalom, Kalayim La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Wahabra Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone for well for teaching me this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, to you brothers out there across the globe, laboring, pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And to you few sincere sisters who hearken as well. Shalom. All right, peace, love, and blessings. Kaya here back with another video. I'm not going to make this too long. I'm just kind of rolling in the spirit, man. And um, this is basically going to be a video discussing that there's no reason there's no reason to to doubt yourself and and be envious you know or wanting of another brother's talent or skill you know or lot in this truth man because we're all a part of the same body you know we're all a part of the same body man and that 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 body is in yahweh bashim yahweh shai so every time brothers get together and this is exactly why yahweh shai stressed brotherhood king david stressed brotherhood the prophets of old stress brotherhood, you know, but uh, going back to the point of Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? Like he 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 stressed brotherhood, man. We we got to forgive one another. We have to have mercy on one another. You know what I'm saying? We we have to operate to the best of our abilities, contrary to the curses, you know. That that was that was put on us by by the Mosaic law, man. We have to to the best of our abilities operate contrary to that. That's why the scriptures say what? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. And if I'm not mistaken, as Judges uh, 5 and 17. Okay? So we, that And that's what we're doing when we go out to camp with each other, man. We're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. You know, our eyes can't be evil toward one another. You know what I'm saying? We can't be committing adultery with, you know, uh, another brother's wife or wives or whatever the case, you know? We can't be we we can't be carnal we can't be carnally minded we can't be like these thugs and these gangsters in the world, you know we we can't have you know uh, lusts and obsessions of the world, and we're supposed to be in the truth, man. It don't, it don't make no sense. All right, but going back to the main topic, you know it, it's it there's no reason for us to be envious of another brother's talent, man. You know you see a brother breaking down scriptures, you know uh, real good or going into history. Or prophecy, real good. Or a brother speaking in tongues, you know what I'm saying. Even even a brother, you know what I'm saying, like on point with the signs, man. Because there's 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 some there's there's a lot for every brother in this truth, you know. That's why it's important to become your own man in this truth, you know. More importantly, to be well rounded. But that comes with time. That comes with patience. That comes with diligence. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in being in his ministry. You gotta learn how to be your own man. Okay. Um, but with that being said, and you know what my, my elder brother taught me that. You know what I'm saying? It's important to be well rounded in the truth, man. The elders speak about it as well. You know what I'm saying? My elder brother, he 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 pushes it a lot. You know, it's important to be well rounded in the truth, man. You know, versatile. As a matter of fact, hell, let's just go ahead and start with that, right? Versatile. versatile definition what does it say it says able to adapt or be adapted to many different functions or activities okay now with that being said now keep that in mind right being able to adapt to any um uh activity right this is the book of first corinthians chapter 14 verse 26 it says how is it then brethren when you come together every one of you hath a psalm hath a doctrine had they tongue, had they revelation, had an interpretation, let all things be done unto edifying. Yeah, because every every uh every matter of the spirit, anything that contributes to the spirit is 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 going to be, of course, important in the spirit, man. So you got brothers that speak in different tongues. You got you got um um what is it uh uh uh, uh, uh GMS um the wide Me Mexico, you know, the, 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 the brothers, the brothers, the brothers out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They like, they, they speak, they speak what they speak, you know, so-called Spanish. They speak Spanish and they speak English. I'll just say it like that, you know, cause that's what they're called nowadays. They speak, they speak Spanish and English, you know, they're bilingual, you know, and they know that they're Israelite. They, they, they are Israelites, man. Those, those, those are brothers, man. Okay, Judah and Ephraim coming together. All right. 
Yahabah Shem is truly blessed, blessed brothers with, with many different talents and gifts. And that's why we're not supposed to be hiding our talent under a napkin. Whatever it is, man. You know? Whether it's if you got if if you if you if you if you could go into the to the entertainment side of this life and bring scripture into it, then go ahead and do it. From the smallest things to the greatest things that, that brothers notice, man. Okay? From the greatest things to the smallest things, even if it is mo something modern day, okay? We have to be going into modern day things anyway, because what? Modern day equates to the scriptures. The, scri the scriptures speak about, about modern day. So why don't you have any spirit to break down the modern day aspects of life and equate them to the scriptures? Why don't you do that, man? It, that's okay. That's why the scriptures say, how was it then, brethren? When you come together, 1 Corinthians 14 and 26, when you come together, every one of you had a psalm. All right, let's go into the word psalm real quick. Do the spirit, all right? Um, it says psalmos. G5568, it says a striking, twang, twanging, a striking, so like it, of a striking the chords of a musical instrument. Of a pious song, a psalm. All right, so it's a song, man. All right, because every single sincere brother in this truth is melodious, man. Okay, we 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 all are melodious, man. We we have a song to contribute every time we get together in the spirit, man. And it could be from afar off. You know, you could be, you know, you could be um over the uh what is it called the the video chat. With brothers and so on and so forth. Even with that, but every time brothers get together, what we bring out different articles, different scriptures that you know brothers ha haven't heard of before and stuff like that, you know. But we go over it, we break it down properly. History that we've never heard of before, but we go over it, we break it down properly, and so on and so forth, man. So every time we come together, a news article that a brother or brothers haven't heard about, we go into it. We elaborate on it. We expand. We bring it out at camp. Okay. That's a song. That's the gospel. Ultimately, what's the word? Gospel means good news. Okay. So every time Akim get together, we have a song to sing, man. And that song is of the, that is, is those lyrics is of the same song. All right. And of the same composer, which the composer is ultimately Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It says, uh, how is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you had the psalm, had the doctrine, had the tongue, had the revelation, had an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edify. Yeah. And also, you know, when it's when it's talking about a revelation, let me just make sure I'm on point. All right, because um apocalypse. <laughs> Um, Apocalypse is in the Greek, G602, it says, laying bare, making naked, a disclosure of truth, instruction concerning things before unknown, used of events by which things or states or persons hitherto withdrawn from view are made visible to all, okay, like John the Revelator, man, in the book of Revelation, okay, a precursor of things to come. So everything in the book of Revelation is according to what John the Revelator saw. All right, which which is taking place right now. And right now we're we're, we're crawling, we're creeping into the time of Revelation 13 and 16 and if you don't know what that is, you need to go look at it. Revelation 13 and 16 through 18, man. Okay? You need to go into it. All right? We're in the time of Matthew the twenty fourth, uh, yeah, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. For you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay, there's some major prophecies in rolling right now, man. We don't we don't have too many prophecies left. Okay, meaning what that the Most High is establishing His word. All right, but going back to the point, this this is a part of edification this is a part of edifying the brotherhood if a brother has a vision or a dream you know and and, and it's something you know equated to the scriptures all right a brother is a brother's given permission to talk about it and they talk about it man 
because what that that's a that's a sense of spirit that's a sense of spiritual power, man. Okay. So what? That's edifying as well. Yeah, how about Shimi Hawashai sent that man? Okay, or those men, because there's plenty of brothers who have different revelations and dreams, but it all coincides with the scripture. All right. Um, that was the point on that. So let me go ahead. All right, just making a point, establishing the point that every time brothers come together, we always got something to, we always have a song to sing. Meaning what? We always have a, a, a something to bring out, something edifying for the church. So like, yeah. This is the book of First Corinthians chapter 12. Um... I'll go, I'll, I'll read verse one and two. I'll read verse one and two, and then I'll, I'll jump down. This is the book of first Corinthians chapter 12, chapter one. Uh, so like it, first Corinthians chapter 12, verse one, it says now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. I'll read it in the NLT real quick. It says now, dear brothers and sisters regarding your question. And, and, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, bre the word brethren, you know, in, in the NLT concerning brothers and sisters, it's not off the reason the reason being because you even had the the elders okay you even had the the elders of of great millstone say that their their wives you know what i'm saying have have come out you know like establishing unto them dreams okay which going back to the word prophetess all right a prophetess which which simply means the wife of a prophet she would have a dream and the prophet the man would interpret that dream and tell it to the church that's not going off. Okay, because what it was a dream and it, it aligned with the scriptures. Because, you know, as of as of right now, which is the time we're coming into, is the hour of martial law, you know. Uh, and it, as a matter of fact, hold on, just just to just to back that up further. Um I forget what it was. I believe it was in Joel. Uh jo Joel, Joel, so like a Joel. Um Visions. Old, young. Yep, Joel 2 and 28. It says, And this shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. So that's exactly what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, who the world even really calls God and Christ, is doing right now. So yes, foretelling, revelation, visions are a part of the, the song to sing in this truth. Okay? We all have different lots, man, because one brother might have a vision, but he may not be able to or know how to pull out the scripture to break it down, maybe at the current time or whatever the case is. Okay? But another brother might be able to do that right then and there. That's why I know the elders go into, you know, uh, uh, bringing their precepts and things of that nature. Like, um, like double dutch, man. You in and you out. Okay. You boom, 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 bada, boom. And then you out. All right. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I did what I did. Okay. You in, you speak your peace, and then you jump out, man. Double dutch. All right. And that's exactly what's going on in these in these latter days, man. But you're gonna have brothers and sisters, okay? The wives of of of, of brothers, elders, prophets, who's 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 gonna be who's gonna be seeing these dreams, man. Because the, the women do count as well. Women do count as well. That's why women are gonna be, you know, there's there's gonna be a lot of women getting destroyed too. You know, we there's righteous women and then there's wicked women among the nation of Israel. All right, whether you want to believe it or not, man. All right, not every woman in the nation of Israel is wicked. Okay? For you um you damn trigger happy. I know that's that's what I'm gonna call you, man. You you trigger happy, rage happy Israelites who always want to condemn women. Well, well, what about yourself, man? You know? Consider yourself as well. All right, because a woman can repent just like we can repent. Now, yes, we are above the woman. We are above the, 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 the women and so on and so forth. But you still got to look at yourself, man, because we all in hell. Okay. But I just want to make that point 
you know, just going back to the point of, you know, the word brethren in the NLT when it says brothers and sisters. All right. Now, this doesn't mean that we're going to have, you know what I'm saying, Israelite women in the camps camping with us because this is a war. This is a spiritual war. This is spiritual warfare. It ain't going to be no woman. It ain't going to be no woman out here prophesying with us. OK, and that's just point plain and simple. That's point blank. OK. But um, going back to the point, it says. um, Salakia. First Corinthians 12 and 1. Now, dear brothers and sisters in the NLT on the right hand side, regarding your question about the special abilities the spirit gives us. I don't want you to misunderstand this. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. OK, and that's exactly how all of us were pursuing to Daniel, the uh, Daniel nine and seven talking about confusion of face, which the word confusion means shame. OK, and it's a shame not to know this gospel. There's actually a law. If I'm not mistaken, it's in the book of numbers. There's a law in ignorance. OK, Lord's willing out. That'll be a video for another day. But there is a law in ignorance. All right. Um, it says, so I want you to know that no one speaking by the spirit of the most high will curse Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus. And no one can say Yahweh Shai is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you can't confess Yahweh Shai, OK, except you know that it is him and that the Holy Spirit is with him. OK, or you, you can't confess him unless the Holy Spirit is with you. OK, because you, you, you got Esau in the world who just who, who says Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and yada yada. And we, we all heard it growing up. We all still hear it now. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, but Jesus is not his name. So they can't truly confess so-called Jesus Christ. They can't confess Yahweh Shai because they don't know his name and they won't confess and admit to his name. You know, they won't conf they won't uh, confess and admit to his name and, and they don't know it. All right. Only the nation of Israel can confess that and not even the whole nation of Israel will confess, okay? But only the nation of Israel can confess that Yahweh Shah is Lord and Savior, okay? And that only happens by way of the Holy Spirit, man, all right? Which the Holy Spirit does exist because to be able to break down spirits, all right, to, to discern spirits, as a matter of fact, that actually leads me, Um, let me just go ahead and jump down to verse 12. I, I hit the point. I hit the point, man. You don't want to overdo it. All right. Um, yeah, I'll start at verse 12. All right. Then it says one body with many parts. Second Corinthians 12 and 12. It says for as the body is one and has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body. So also is Hamashiach. All right. What's the word there is Christ. But that goes back to the Hebrew word. Mashayat, which means anointed one or anointed. Okay. Which Yahweh Shah, he, 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 he is anointed, man. He is the chosen. All right. As we are too, we're, 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 we're many, uh, 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 Mashi, we're Mashiach Yum. We're anointed ones. All right. We are anointed ones. All right. And it's okay to say that because what we, we are, we are set up through the spirit to, 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 um, to, to gather the elect Lord's will we are of the elect. All right. We don't say that arrogantly, but we, we do say it with faith. We say it confidently. Okay. What's the word confident means with faith. Con meaning with fidence meaning faith. All right. Um, it says for as the body is one, because yeah, we, we are in one body and, and this is also a scripture. Okay. And, and, and I, I could pull it, but I'm not going to pull it, but I, I'm going to just quote this, you know, uh, the scripture talking about, you know, basically how, um, the, the disciples that was walking with Yahweh Shah at the time, I forget who it was per se, but they were just like, like Yahweh Shah, like they're teaching in your name. And Yahweh Shah said, what? He said, leave them alone. You know, if they're not against us, then they're with us, man. Okay. They was prophesying and they was performing miracles in Yahweh Shah's name. Meaning what? The heavenly father is pleased by that because the scriptures say, oh man, oh man. 
Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Um. Yep, kind of. This is the book of John, chapter six, verse forty-four. All right, and the reason why those those other men then now they now they weren't you know walking directly in in close. They wasn't walking directly with Yahweh Shai. They wasn't like physically walking with him, but they believed on his doctrine. Which that which look, man, we haven't in this lifetime. We haven't physically seen or uh, directly walk with Yahweh Shai in this lifetime, but we believe on his doctrine. Okay. But what the heavenly father, the heavenly father approves. All right. This is the book of John chapter six, verse 44. It's like you. John six and 44. I'm at the top. No man. This is how was speaking who the world calls Jesus Christ because it's a red lettering. No man can come to me except the father which have sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. So they're, they're going to be what? They're going to be what? They're going to be individuals. There's going to be brothers in different camps under different labels and titles. That's that's going to be teaching Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai is the ultimate banner. He's the ultimate standard. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate label. Okay, and anybody not teaching Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity can't simply just simply can't be under the same banner because the scriptures say what. It might be in here, it might not be in here, but the scriptures say, um, the scriptures say, you know, him, him that, 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 that gathereth not with me scattereth, man, you know? So when you don't gather, when you don't gather the sheep as we were, as we were commanded to do, then you're scattering them, you know, going into these off Israelite camps and the Lord is going to start with you guys because you know better, you're doing worse. You do it, and you're gonna continue to wax worse. I'm confident that you're gonna continue to wax worse, man. Okay. Now there may be some individuals in your camps that's that's gonna that's gonna repent. All right, because it's not impossible. There is there are gonna be certain fruit and sheep in your camp that's gonna repent and and truly teach you how shy. All right, but but you leaders, a lot of a lot of y'all are gonna die, man. A lot of y'all are gonna die. You know, all of you teaching falsely, all of you teaching scriptures falsely, you, you're going to die, man. All right. Because you, you're making money off this truth. You're getting your vain glory and so on and so forth. You you got this. You got this worldly spirit on you, man. The Lord don't like that. All right. You, you're scattering the sheep. OK. You guys don't come to your, your sheep don't come together and have and have a song like this, except in wickedness. All right. But that was that. Um, but yeah, man, like, and that's 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 why Yahweh Shai he told us he told his disciples Salakia. I can't remember who he was with at the current time, but he was just like, look, leave them alone, because they look they they they're gathering the sheep. They're teaching truthfully in my name, you know, in the heavenly Father's name, right? So going back to First Corinthians. Chapter 12, verse 13, it says, For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be free, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to, to drink into one spirit. Okay, and that's exactly what we're doing, all right? Jew and Gentile, which that basically is talking about Israel that know that the Israel and then you got the Israelite foreigners going into the word Gentiles. All right, which let's go ahead and look into that real quick through the spirit. So like I really didn't plan on making this that long, but hey, it is what it is. It says um a Greek either by nationality, whether a native of the mainland or of the Greek islands or colonies. In a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, not Jews that made the language, customs and learning of the Greeks their own. The primary reference 
as to a difference of religion and worship. Yeah, and the, the second the second one is more accurate because you had a lot of Israelites, okay, even before this time, but you know, that's a that a, that's that's a history video for another day, pro, you know, do another brother or elder and stuff like that. Um it's basically talking about Israelites who took on, you know, these these um and it's it's the word Helen. All right, Helen. All right, which basically talking about Israelites who took on you know, Greek customs or, you know, rather in this sense, heathenistic customs, pagan customs. OK, which is exactly all, all of Israel fell into pagan customs at one point in time. You know, we was all worshiping, you know, the, the literal uh, Jesus Christ. We was all, you know, into um, uh, 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 Egyptology or some other vain doctrine and philosophy. We was all at one point in time involved in that because what? Pursuing the Jeremiah 17, 17 and 4, we got discontinued from our heritage. All right. But yeah, man, Jew, Jew, Jew and Gentile. Jew and Gentile. All right. But we're baptized. We're baptized what? In, into drinking by fire, into drinking the same spiritual drink, man. All right. And that drink is talking about Yahweh Shai. You know, going back to the point of video, that's why brothers and elders is able to bring up so many different things that they found in their own time, that they found in their own leisure time and bring it to camp and bring it out to, to any sincere brothers and sisters that's listening. It says, for the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is is it therefore not of the body? Yeah. So if if the foot says, oh, I'm not the hand, so I'm not a part of the body. Does that mean that it's not a part of the body? Absolutely not. OK, because I got because and, and thank and Yahweh and thankfully, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, he, he didn't put it to where I lost one of my toes. I, I did lose some teeth. <laughs> I did lose some teeth and, and, and everything's different now. Like like my balance is off in the flesh. My balance is off in the flesh. OK, but, you know, if you lose one of your toes, then what, man? You're going you're going to lose you're going to lose a sense of balance. Now, you know, we strong. We men of Yahab, Bashim, and we're going to get used to it. All right. Whatever the circumstances. OK. You, you may have so you may have certain brothers that come into the truth. That's that's, you know, whole amputees. Or whatever the case, you got brothers that's that's um. That, that do sign language because they're, they're, they're deaf, you know, if they're physically deaf or dumb and they can't speak or they, they can't hear. OK. But guess what? Yahabashim 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 is 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 dealing with, with his own man. All right. Verse 16. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye. I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Yeah, just because you got a brother who's, you know, great at, at breaking down, you know, uh, 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 or bringing out precepts faster and better as opposed to a brother holding the sign. Are you going to say that the brother holding the sign is not of the camp? Hell no. And that's wicked, man. OK, ain't nothing wrong with, with a brother being, you know, a solid sign holder. OK. Or a solid camera holder. Because they know how to capture what? The, the moment. They know how to capture the moment. All right? Or a brother who's good at bringing up pe uh, precepts as opposed to a brother who's good at breaking them down. Okay? See? And look, there's a difference. You can bring out precepts, but can you break it down? All right? There's always going to be another brother who can expound on your point. That's the whole point. Of, of this ministry and the brotherhood, man. Um, that was the point on that. Let me see. Um, ah, oh, I messed up. I should have, I, I should have went back high, but you know what? Nah, I, I, I don't, I, I can't say I messed up. It's all through the spirit. Um, I, I pretty much touched on the point, man. I'll, um, Oh man, I I I, I should have started a little bit higher, but it, it's it's alright. It's all through the spirit, you know. But but I'll just bring it out briefly. First Corinthians twelve and um six it says, 
and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same. The it is the same power which worketh all in all. All right. So what? What? We're all worshiping the same thing. We're all eating the same spiritual meat and drinking the same spiritual drink, which is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and we're all calling on the name sincerely. It says, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. The spirit of manifestation is talking about the Holy Spirit, that Rakhak Wadash. It says, for to one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom. All right, the word of wisdom. A brother may, you know, he, he a brother may know how to go into the intricacies. You know what I'm saying? Like laying with wisdom, skin the war about not how to, you know, move in this truth, move in the world as well. Okay. And the necessities thereof to another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Yeah, because the gift of healing, you know, it, it can can also go into um how to um how to heal a brother's uh, how to heal a brother's mind, you know, through, uh, you know, through, um you know, like herbs and things of that nature, because you do you do have. You know, certain brothers in truth who, who who are good physicians, you know, and humble physicians at that, you know what I'm saying? And even even more so by uh, 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 um, brothers with like a, a mental a mental disruption, man, you know, brothers who just know how to bring out the right scriptures or the right type of advice to heal a brother's spirit, you know, a right type of song to heal a brother's spirit, man. All right. Verse 10, it says to another, the working of miracles to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits. Yeah, discerning of spirits, man, and that's heavy, okay? Because you got certain brothers who know how to be like, who know how to tell somebody who comes up to, to camp to inquire, even if they just stand in there not saying a damn thing, not saying a damn thing. A sir, you know, a certain brother might, you know, pull you over to the side like, like, hey, watch out for that individual, you know? That's the spirit of so-and-so on, and, and, and whatever the case is, like, you know, like, like that spirit is not to be trusted or that spirit can be trusted. You got brothers who's who's great at that, man. OK. It says to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues. OK, because you may have, you know, you got brothers in the truth who who only speak one language that, you know, the majority of brothers don't understand. But you always got that 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 uh that brother who knows how to interpret it or break it down, you know, translator so to speak, interpretation of tongues, okay. So that was that. Um, let me go ahead and get this in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter nine. Yeah, God. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10, it says, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, okay, so, you know, being in the truth, man, you, you want to be, you want to be laborious, okay, you want to, you want to, you, you want to, you know what I'm saying, like, like, put your head down and just, just, you know, do the work, not in over-righteousness, man, I will say that, not an over-righteousness, because you, you, you're going to end up burdening your own spirit, brother spirits, and eventually you, you're going to you're gonna fold, man. You're going to bug out. You're going to bug out. I will say that. You're going to bug out. It says, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. All right, so that's why, what, as the scriptures say, you know, for it was, uh, let me just go ahead and get it. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and get it. Um, Baruch 4 and 28. For, it, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. All right? So seek him how about him how shy 10 times more, man. You know? That's why the scriptures say what? You know, whatever you whatever your, your hands find to do, you got to do it with all your might. OK, you have to do it with all your might, man, you know, to the best of your ability. It's like, yeah, you want to do it to the best of your ability, man. You know, and you got brothers in the truth with certain talents like like, you know, 
my my little talent like i i enjoy i enjoy art i love to draw you know through the spirit i like to draw you know me you know make spiritual pictures and so on and so forth you know i noticed uh the the, the brother kazak in the mississippi camp the elder kazak you know he he draws as well that's one of his hebrew hobbies you know and i don't know the the, the brother name but you know what i'm saying he he makes a um um necklaces and beads beads and necklaces you know, for for uh for for brothers and stuff like that, that's a beautiful thing, man. There ain't nothing wrong with a hobby and it's truth, okay. And and those are real talents. Those are actual talents, you know. That's why speaking in tongues, which means speaking different languages, Spanish, Portuguese, you know, um, uh, Swahili or whatever the case, man. That look, if you can do it, use it, use it, Baba Kusha. All right, because when you die, you can't use it no more, man. When you go back to the grave, all right, yeah, we do. Yes, we are going to get resurrected, okay? Yes, we are going to get, we are going to um uh, regenerate and so on and so forth, okay? But when you hit the grave, man, there is no more using of your talents, man. And I say this for myself first and foremost, you know? Don't be slothful in this truth. Yes, have a balance, have a balance. But don't be slothful in this truth, man. You know, it would be wise not to be slothful. Yeah, 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 because the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, so yeah, we are going to have our slothful days. You know, we, we do go off because we're in the flesh. All right. But ultimately, we're in this truth. And as long as we're praying and we we doing what we got to do, and we have a faith to you, the Lord is not going to cast us away. He is going to give us some, some correction, you know. He is going to reprimand us, all right? But ultimately, as long as we have the faith and we're doing what we got to do, and we're doing, we doing the things that we love in the spirit, for the spirit, for the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? There's no condemnation to us, man, all right? Well, with that being said, Lord's willing, this was edifying through the spirit. Shalom.